So before an event, I like to make sure to properly prep my skin so it's plump and glowy the next day. Hydration and moisturizing your skin is key for that. Eye care is very very important and I feel like it's neglected sometimes. The eye area doesn't produce oils naturally, so it's the thinnest and usually prone to dryness. Usually signs of fatigue and stress are shown through the eyes. The eye sleeping mask will definitely help depuff dark circles and brighten the eye area as it's formulated with caffeine and vitamin P. It comes with this ceramic ball applicator to gently massage and it helps cool down the eye area. And after that, you just wake up with bright, rested looking eyes. After applying my toner and moisturizer, I like to go in with a sleeping mask. I'm going to be using the Water Sleeping Mask by Laneige. I'm sure you guys have seen this product. It's one of like the first sleeping masks to change the market. It's a lightweight gel that cools down the skin. You leave it on without washing it off, and then the next day you wake up with like plump, hydrated looking skin. It just seals in all the goodness that you applied already on the face before. I definitely noticed that every time I use it, my skin looks brighter when I use a sleeping mask. As a last step to seal everything in, if you are someone that applies lip products like me often and constantly struggle from chapped dry lips, the lip sleeping mask is a must in your routine. I apply this religiously every night to keep my lips like really, really hydrated. Having hydrated lips not only makes them look rosier, but it also helps air out any lip wrinkles when you have when they are dry. I like applying this under liquid lip products because it creates a smooth hydrated layer. It's formulated with a moisture wrap technology and antioxidants from a blend of berries. And that's what I do at night time uh, to prep my skin before the next morning. And in the daytime before I start out with all my makeup application, I make sure to prep and hydrate the skin just like the nighttime. But instead of using a heavier layer, I use a very, very light layer just so that my skin is hydrated before I apply my makeup. I use my eye sleeping mask, but a thinner layer. And then after that, I use the water sleeping mask and then I use the lip sleeping mask for lipstick application. After I'm done with that, I go in with the Laneige Hydro Radiance BB Cushion. It has SPF 50 plus to even out skin tone and brighten the skin. It's a lightweight luminous finish and this cushion has 6 shades. I'm using the shade number 21. After applying the cushion, I conceal other imperfections that were not covered. This cushion concealer has SPF 37 for extra sun protection protection and I use it to conceal any under eye darkness and blemishes. Just tap the applicator for flawless application. Both the Hydro Radiance BB Cushion and Cushion Concealer are available at Sephora. After setting my face and contouring a little bit, I apply this Ideal Blush Duo for Rosy Cheek Flush. This blush contains two colors for more dimension and definitely looks more natural. For the eyes, I'm going to apply the Ideal Shadow Quad. Use the light brown to contour the eyes and I'm going to use the dark brown to further define the outer corners of the eyes. Use the shimmer shade as inner eye highlighter. Since this is a natural rosy flushed look, I'm going to use this edge drawing eyeliner just to tightline the eyes. I'm also going to draw small under eye lashes. This is possible of how precise the eyeliner is. This eyeliner does not budge. For the lips, I chose a natural nude. This two-tone lipstick in New Cashmere Nude has two colors in one lipstick and it's the perfect nude. It's so creamy and matte and it comes in 12 shades. Just gently tap it and blend. The eyeliner, blush, and eyeshadows are online exclusives and they're available on the uslanage.com site. This is how I achieve a rosy, glowy look for the event. But there's like a bunch of people at like the town already. Hello. Vlog takeover.
subscribe-knappen og følge Ivan på YouTube. Nei. I hope he says something nice. This is a true friend. Number one. I got the vlog camera now. See ya. I love your videos too. Hey guys. You know how like when girls meet each other and they're like, you're so pretty, no, you're so pretty. That was that moment right there. Going down to lunch right now. I mean, like, it's been a while since I, like, slid down a, a, a slide, I guess. So we're leaving now. Goodbye, KCON. So we're gonna go out and grab an Uber now. I had a really, really good time. Thank you so much for uh, coming up and saying hi. Uh, so I just got home and it's been a really, really crazy and hectic weekend. I'm really, really happy I got to see everyone and everybody that showed up said hi. Like I said, I'm very, very thankful and without you guys, I wouldn't even be here or been able to do any of this. She's Meow Meow is here. And a lot of you guys knew her. And this is Meow Meow. Uh, she wants to say bye to. Bye. 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 Oh. I'm definitely inspired to continue doing more. And the whole KCON community was just very, very diverse. It just looks so great with your different hair and your different clothes. People don't understand this. But I feel like I found a really good community of us to back each other up and it's with love and a lot of intention and I'm so thankful th for that. I'll keep working harder for you guys because I, I can see that we're all just trying to be better in this world and I'm so glad I get to share everything with you. Now I'm just gonna take my makeup off and go to sleep.
帰ってね。